that ball. Remember Pro Radio with your host, Gen T. Fuck, I don't know what, what the fuck. Yeah, fuck it. Jen is a warlord. I'm fucking coming for you. And now I feel poo coming out of my bum. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's a lot right now. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Rambo Pro Radio. I am your host, Gen T. Twitter and Instagram at GenT523. Um. <laughs> oh, friends, I don't know how this has happened again, but it has happened. I have found myself in a bit of a jam. <laughs> I woke up and, of course, when I wake up, my goal is to not choose violence unless it's appropriate, but... (laughs) God damn it, man. Oh, shit. Well, it it came very close to choosing violence, I must say. (laughs) Um, So we're just going to get into it. (laughs) It's time for Customers of the Week. So, you guys know me. I'm not looking for trouble, goddammit. I'm just minding my own business. And somehow, some way, trouble finds me. So, I'm waiting to go on my break and... (laughs) It's almost time for me to leave work and I'm just getting excited because I get to go to jiu-jitsu class and and that's really the only thing I care about. (laughs) And so this uh, gay man, you know, my gay brother in Christ, my gay brethren comes up and he goes, excuse me, excuse me. I was like, I was like, yeah, what's up? And he stands inappropriately close to me. And I'm not really sure why. (laughs) Um, If you're in the know, for some reason, this is just a thing. Uh, Lesbians, lesbian women and gay men generally don't get along. There's some kind of beef there. I've always done my best to try and bridge the gap. But your dear host, Rambopra. Uh, may or may not have allegedly got into a fisticuffs in front of the police station in West Hollywood. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Um, I shall get to that story in a minute. Um, no, I'll just fucking tell you right now. Back in my younger days, in my in my days of traveling to West Hollywood, into into Boys Town, predominantly Boys Town, certain nights were ladies' nights, so that means there's more lesbians out and about. But this night, I I went to support uh my, my gay friend, and he was coming out the closet, so I was just trying to show him around, show him the ropes, let him have fun, and it was our thing, and. For some reason, this night, well, all the nights that we went out, um, it would always turn into some sort of fight. Um, We would be ushered out of clubs quickly. This individual, God bless his little heart, uh, he's a reformed man, of course. Um, He has settled down. But uh, in his heyday, he was very promiscuous. No tea, no shade. Um, which good, well, you know, God bless you, man. You know, you, you don't have to be shacked up. You can be like non-monogamous. It's cool. It's, it's trendy now to be non-monogamous right now as I am experiencing. But my man's, because of his behavior and his, especially with gay men, gay men, turn them and burn them pretty quick. It's like you find somebody, you hook up, and then you're on to the next. There's not really a relationship deal going on in the gay community. It's very rare to do the relationship thing. It's predominantly hookups. So 
my friend, of course, had hooked up with this other attractive young man. And apparently this other attractive young man had a uh, attractive uh, boyfriend (laughs) and was not happy that the two of them had hooked up. And we just all happened to meet up at the club accidentally that night and uh, turned to a a whole shebang. And as I was trying to uh, separate them and just... Break it up because it was nonsense. Clearly, this other individual had a boyfriend and they're together. Your problem is with your mans unless y'all have an open relationship. My homie didn't do anything wrong. He didn't know. And even if it did, it's really none of his business. So um, they hooked up. They're not going to hook up again. But apparently this other man's boyfriend had a problem when he walked into the bar and uh, saw them dancing together. So... (laughs) It turned into a thing. And I separate them. Everyone's yelling, fighting, drinks are being thrown. So I'm just like, hey, stop. Everybody go outside. This is enough. Or, you know what, you and I, let's just leave and go to some other spot or let's just head home. This person's boyfriend followed me outside and then proceeded to say a few things that I was not uh, comfortable with. Which was strange because he was black, but there was a lot of racial um, slurs being hurled towards me, even though we were both black. (laughs) So I was just like, "Mm, I'm not okay with that. And I was like, well, so I was like, why don't you go stay over there? Because I'm trying to break this up and you're escalating this. Please don't make this any worse. And I got a, why don't you shut the fuck up inward thing and And it wasn't the E-R, because obviously we're black, but he used the A, and I'm not really cool with the N at all. So I was like, the fuck did you just say? And then (laughs) me and my friend were ready to fight both of them and anybody else. So then that just turned into spilling in the street. There was some shoving and things being hurled and a a whole lot of fuck yous. And and if you want it, you can come get it. And then... uh, for some reason, this guy thinking he got the last word, like was like, yeah, why don't you get out of uh, WeHo? We don't like any of you fag hags anywhere. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, fuck, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, are you goofy or something? Fam? Like, I like vagina. That? Not that it's any of your what business, but I'm like a lesbian. <laughs> Uh, a fag hag is somebody who is a straight woman who is hanging with their gay friend. And there's nothing straight about me other than the straight right hand coming to your dome piece in about two seconds. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, for the most part, I get along with gay men, except for this certain type, this really effeminate, sassy one. That has to kind of be bossy, has to be in charge. That one doesn't agree with me. (laughs) I don't know. I tried. I've got a few of them. I got a few gay male friends. They're not sassy. They're just cool. Sometimes they can be bitchy, but they're not like, do as I say or whatever, you know. So this young man comes up to me and goes, well, um, this lady I found here. Because this guy loves to come in the store and start befriending people and like he's working there or something. I don't know if he applied there and didn't get the job. Uh, Apparently didn't get the memo. We don't want you, fam. Which is saying a lot for my job because we need people. (laughs) 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 Oh, shit. (laughs) Um, He was like, excuse me, excuse me. And I was like, yeah, what's up, bro? He's like, I'm going to need you to help this woman. She is looking for things. She's got a list. And I was like, all right, cool. Let me tell you where it's at, and then I'll send somebody over to help you. And like I said, like I mentioned before, he was oddly in my space. And 
I was like, I don't know you like this. So why are you in my, my, my bubble, my personal bubble, 18 to 24 inches? Give me some space. Give me some breathing room. This, this is elevating my, my blood pressure. This is elevating my blood pressure. And it's not because I'm fat. You are starting to stress me out. And when I get stressed out, I'm, I just start hitting things. So one of them might be your face. So I'm going to need you to back the fuck up. <laughs> and so my hands was just in my space. And I was just like, I was like, hey, bro, um, you know, can you just give me a little bit of space here. And he stepped in further. And he was like, you're not going to help this woman? Really? Are you serious right now? You're not going to help her? And I said, I will call somebody that works over in that department. Right now, I am short-staffed in my department. So I can't just be going on and leaving. He's like, are you serious? Are you serious? And we were almost nose to nose. And so now, if we're doing the fight face off, if we're doing the stare down, um, I'm not going to let you throw the punch first. I'm going to be first, fam. Okay? First of all, I shouldn't even let you be that close. But if we are going to be this close, you understand what is going to occur next. So I politely took a half step back. I was like, okay, this is weird. I don't know why you're in my space and you're starting to really irritate me right now. So um, (laughs) took a little step back and he comes forward. He's like, excuse me, excuse me. Everyone here does their job. I don't understand why you're not doing their job and helping this sweet little lady. She needs your help. Well, are you retarded? And I just told you, I called somebody that works in that department. They're coming to take care of her. So if you, and I just stopped talking to him. And so I was like, ma'am, if you want to head on over to this area, the guy is going to be there waiting for you, or you can stay here and he can greet us at the front. It's all what you want to do. She's like, oh, okay, I'm kind of lost, but okay, I'll head over there. And I was like, yes, try, just try for once. (laughs) And then he comes back in my space again. He's like, excuse me. And I'm just like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Here, the problem is solved. I have done my job. No, I don't think so. I don't think you've done your job. And he goes, what is your name? And he goes, oh. Oh, you're not a man or, or, or uh, uh, whatever, or uh, uh, she, or uh, 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 I'm sorry, I don't know. And I was just like, well, you don't have to apologize. Why don't we start with reading and reading my name tag? It says Jen on it. Fuck you! He goes, oh, well, uh, 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 uh. And I was like, you. goodbye! <laughs> I had to walk away from this dude, and this dude was probably... Maybe six foot, six foot one, probably 155 pounds soaking wet. You can imagine the devastation that I would create in, in this man's life if I were to have let him stay in my face any longer. I'm just like, what are you doing, bro? Why are you standing uncomfortably close to me? Back the fuck up. <laughs> thing just really just take me off the fact that he was just like you're not gonna do your job you're not gonna do your job um 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 I'm like bruh bruh yes we know you love to suck dick i don't have one so i'm gonna need you to back the fuck up away from me please before i punch you in your fucking face i was i was feeling the gay rage coming on and of course you know this is a gay man so he of course also has a gay rage but i figured because i am a giant um mannish lady that my gay rage would out gay rage his so i was just like bruh if you don't get the fuck away from me right now god damn it i was just like you know what i'm leaving i just stepped away i just like goodbye i'm not dealing with this and then He thought it would be cool to befriend. He thought it would be cool to befriend all of uh, my other coworkers and then give me, give me a dirty look. And I was like, fam, oh my God, oh my days. I was like, you know what? I leave work in less than an hour. I don't need this bullshit from you. Have a nice life. Chug off. You fucking prick. Uh-huh. I couldn't believe it. I don't 
do anything. Why is this happening? I just mind my own fucking business. Okay? All I want to do is make money from stonks, marry a sweet little lady, and move. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my shithole town. Why the fuck would I want to start drama with this gay dude? But that's what this guy does every time. He wants to start a fight. Some sort of thing. Mm, excuse me. Well, why don't you do your job and help this lady or whatever? <laughs> or are you a man, sir? Are you a man or a woman or whatever? She or sorry. Uh-huh. A pagina los ojos. Open your eyes and look at my fucking name tag. It's right there. This all could have been avoided. Anyhow. I was just like, all right, I'm, I'm done with this guy. <laughs> Good night and God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So current events. So current events. So current events. The shitstorm continued as I woke up to go drive to my jujitsu seminar and I was all excited, you know, to get some cool lessons from uh, a fancy pro jujitsu athlete. And, um, well, I had some car trouble. The old Prius decided to just take a shit, was all wobbly. Uh, lights were turning on, brakes weren't working right, and I was like, you know what, this ain't safe, I can't drive to the gym like this, I need to go to the mechanic, even though I have a mechanic appointment on Monday, today, okay, it could not wait, so I rolled into America's Tires, and God bless them, except for the part where they're trying to fucking sell me a tire, and I just told them what the fuck was wrong, I said, I think I am 90% sure, I can't find it, but I am 90% sure there is a nail in my tire. Can y'all inspect this tire? Okay, so my man uh, comes out and he's like, mm-hmm, 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 and he's checking the tire, mm-hmm, 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 and he comes back and he goes, yeah, so uh, inspecting your tires, uh, we're going to look to see about buying some new ones today because, you know, your trend's kind of low, so, uh, and I was like, Really? 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 <laughs> really? <laughs> He's like, yeah, these tires are, are, you know, you need to get them replaced. And I was like, bruh, I have a flat. You didn't even bother to check to see if you could even f- fucking fix the tire. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. oh. I was pissed. I was just, I could feel, I could feel my heart beating very fast. I was like, man, man, you keep going around in circles telling me I need to buy new tires. When I just bought new tires in 2021, okay, I bought new tires last fucking year in November. He's like, yeah, I looked at those tires. Those new ones are there, but these old ones are here. And I was like, fine, sweets. That's not my fucking problem right now. My problem is I have a nail in the tire. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 90% sure there's a nail. And I need you to check it and fix it if it can be fixed. If it can't, then we can talk about buying tires. We can talk about buying tires all day. Sell me the most expensive ones. I don't give a fuck. Check and see if this thing can be fixed first. For God's sakes. He kept going on. He's like, yeah, I don't think they're rotating your tires. I, you know, I think you should really consider. Okay, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. You know, you really should consider. And I was like, bruh, check the computer. I bought these fucking tires in November. And if I have a 60,000 mile warranty on these tires, I ain't even fucking halfway there. It hasn't been a year, you cook suck up. A fucking you. <laughs> I was like, oh, please, God. Checks the computer. Oh, yeah, I see here. Yeah, that that, yeah, that actually calculates to about 30,000 miles. So, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. So you only got half use of the tire here. That way we'll just give you a, a half price discount, and then you can buy two new tires. And I was like, bruh. <laughs> 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 oh, man, please, please. Listen to what I'm saying. Ooh, escuchan. Escuchando, okay? You suck. I 
have a nail in my fucking tire. I'm not even telling you it's 90% sure. There's a fucking nail in my tire. Get it the fuck out. If you can't fix it, then we'll talk about buying new tires. Okay, I'm just saying, you know, you really should consider. It's just like, bro, type in your little little tablet, your little iPad. Tell your homies in the fucking shop to patch my fucking tire. <laughs> and if it can't be patched, then I'll buy some goddamn tires. And I was like, oh, please, God. I was like, I don't want to fucking go around with you i'm missing my fucking seminar and if y'all can get this shit done quickly i could go back and maybe learn something for an hour okay this thing was like three hours i was trying to catch at least the last hour and so because guy ladouche was Uh so intent on selling me some fucking tires i didn't fucking need after 20 minutes of going back and forth he goes yeah well uh so about that there's 15 cars ahead of you and i was like then put me number 16. Show off. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, God. I was just in hell. I was just in hell, Pichel. I couldn't believe this. I was just like, man, how's the car going to break down 48 hours before my fucking appointment? Get <laughs> my real mechanic. So I was just like praying on all things holy. I was like, please just be a patch, something that you can fucking fix. Please, God, please. I was just like, please, 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 please. So it was just like, a uh, polite two and a half, no, excuse me, a polite three hour wait, plenty of time for me to miss my seminar. Uh, so much time that I actually got my car back. With a patch tire for free. Thanks to somebody who was not a douchebag. Uh, I got my car back just in time to look at the clock and see that the seminar was over. So I was just fucking devastated. I was like, oh, my God. I was trying to look on the bright side like, yo, I didn't have to spend spend two hundred fifty dollars on some fucking tires. Uh Uh (laughs) But at the same time, I was just like, God damn it, man. I really needed that seminar. I'm trying to up my skills. I really need to get to Purple Belt so fucking bad, y'all. So bad. Because Purple Belt is my next step into getting my my self-defense certification and and starting to train people for real real. Not for play play. For reals. My passione. And I'm just like, fuck. Fuck. I need this. So... I'm just desperate to go to as many seminars as I can humanly go to to learn so I can expedite the process quickly here. Um, Because I'm dying to do something else now with my life, you know. As much as I love these people with the vitamins, it's enough, player. I'm just like, bruh, you slip me a Benjamin and I'll take good care of you, okay? (laughs) No, you you slip me 50 bucks, I'll write you a diet plan, I'll, I'll train you. I'll walk hand in hand with you. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. I will take care of you. But when you're coming in there and getting my advice for free and not taking it seriously, I don't want to fuck with you. That's it. I'm done with this shit. I can't. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm trying, but I'm I'm on the edge. <laughs> Living on the edge. <laughs> oh man, just a fucking nightmare. So uh, some other current events going on. My sweet, my sweet Demi Lovato. Oh Demi, you left me. Demi, my sweet darling Demi, she is now proclaiming that she is now, uh, instead of a they them, she is now switching back to a she her, and God bless you, how about you call me? (laughs) God damn it, why is Demi Lovato so steamy, and so crazy at the same time, which makes her even hotter? I can't, I can't take it, I just, I can't, I can't, God, oh mammy. Mucho gusto. Hello, Demi. Hello, <laughs> This bitch is so crazy. She actually thinks that people care that she's flip-flopping back and forth between they, them, she's her, them, 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 them. We don't give a fuck, girl. We just want you to make some music, sing your heart out, and live. Oh, girl, overdose twice. Has some stroke, got the blindness. She can barely, she can't even drive. She can barely see. 
And I'm like, girl, if you can barely see, how about you let me be your C&I guide? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Can you imagine oh, me guiding Demi Lovato? <laughs> Right this way, Demi. Yes, right this way. Ooh, watch out. Yeah, that's my bed. <laughs> We're just going to have a seat here for a moment. <laughs> Holy shit. God damn it, man. Oh, God. I mean, other than the fact that she's st- 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 steamy and crazy, I mean, just all, she checks all the boxes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you are the perfect lesbian. <laughs> um, no, excuse me. Non binary gender confirming. <laughs> <laughs> Man, whatever. God bless you. It's not my thing. Listen, I'm just a OG original gangster ass lesbian. <laughs> I ain't gonna try and complicate this shit. It's just like, hey, you like box, you like box. We attracted each other. Let me get the U haul. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn it. I just I just can't. It's, it's very hard for me to understand. Uh, you know, when I was a, a, a baby dyke coming up in the scene and the whole thing was, you know, despite the, the gays and the lesbians not getting along, that we could all come together and we had a general uh, consensus and that was fighting against those who were fighting against us to not let us be, not let us love each other and love one another. And so now it has turned to, now we are fighting amongst each other. Like I am in the circles of circles. I am considered a, a, a terrible lesbian because I will not date a, a trans uh, lady. Um, I am also considered... <laughs> A terrible lesbian because um, what the hell was that? I only acknowledge oh LGBTQ plus. I don't <laughs> shout out all the other letters of the alphabet mafia. I don't know. It has become problematic. I, I've been told so I have the red flags. <laughs> oh God! I'm like, man, you giving me the red flag just means that I should probably stay the fuck away from you because that's really weird. <laughs> No, but I'm trying to be uh, understanding to people's situations and circumstances. But the problem is, it's like when you uh, agree to disagree, there's pushback. And and I'm disappointed that we can't have conversations anymore, that we can't accept people's perspective. Like, hey, guess what? Um, if you want to be, you know, non-binary, gender forming, E&M, poly pots and pans god bless you do your thing that doesn't affect my life i just don't care i think with you putting all these labels if anything else is actually hurting your cause you're trying to like isolate yourself like no i'm more of a victim because i am xyz it's like you know i open these dating apps and they say poc to the front (laughs) ab cab uh Pen, E and M. They're just like all of these fucking words. I'm just like, oh God, please. Let's dismantle the patriarchy and death to capitalism. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're on a fucking dating app. Where do you think that came from? I just, I just want people to go back to having fun, man. Who gives a shit? You know, we can agree that hey, you know, you is gay. Or you might be kind of gay that you you might like some dicks or no dicks at all. And that, that's that. And we have a general consensus that we are standing up against people that like what's going on in, in um, politics right now. That they are uh, Supreme Court is discussing rolling back gay marriage, which is appalling. Um, and obviously, if you're listening to this and you you don't agree with gay marriage, hey, God bless you. But uh, I would like to marry somebody eventually someday. And that would happen to be a woman. And uh, if you don't like that, then please do not come to my wedding. <laughs> okay, you can disinvite yourself now. Okay, um, God bless you. It's your right to disagree, but you can disagree quietly. But to say to then put your foot out further and be like, you know what? No, you can't have marriage either. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. 
regular ass marriage was fucked up with y'all straight people <laughs> anyways, right? Is the divorce rate at 72%? Just saying, like, the gays got nothing to do with it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you let us jump in? We might be able to balance out some of that seventy-two percent there. <laughs> oh God, this is just—it's just getting crazy. I don't really like all the labels, other than I'll just say lesbian. I mean, if you really want to quiz me in in smaller circles, I'll say trans. But I ain't trying to do nothing about it. But the point is, I'm just trying to love up on some lady and and live my life. You know, I'm not trying to hurt anybody i'm not trying to go to jail i'm not selling drugs maybe not yet uh, oh <laughs> shit <laughs> but my point is is i mean no harm i'm just trying to live my life um and i wish that people would kind of roll it back with the whole labels um i don't know if i re- talked about it on here but i'll just talk about it briefly um a co-worker um just asked this lady to, you know, she was in his way and and he just said, you know, excuse me, ma'am, can I just place this here on the shelf? And she said, excuse me, you better work on not misgendering people. Bitch, please. No, you from a hole in the wall. This man was raised with manners to say, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, sir. He doesn't fucking know you. And so for this gender non-conforming non-binary person to just snap at my friend you're only proving people's point that that don't like you you're giving them ammunition you're giving them more ammunition to not like you because of how quickly you're snapping back at them i am nobody asked you all he said was excuse me ma'am all you need to do is move or not move stupid bitch what you think, bitch? How can he misgender you if he doesn't know you? Okay? So let's start there. You need to dial it back with the with the little the little virtue virtue signaling aggression here. What if my man said, excuse me, cunt? Okay, that is totally justified to be upset. I mean, if somebody said that to me, I'm not gonna get upset because I have Australian friends, and that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Nick Mayne in the trees. Nick in the trees, what's up? Oh, no way, my sick hunt. Um, way up in the trees, trimming down fucking trees with just a fucking rope. My man, Nick Mayne, fucking tough cunt. Holy shit. God bless you, man. Um, my point is, it was not, a, a, you know, offensive. Obviously, it was offensive to her, but he doesn't know you. You need to roll it back and politely say, you know, excuse me, uh, I, I could you not refer to me as that? Or, uh, you know, <laughs> saying there's just ways. This doesn't have to be hostile. Uh, I just wish people would realize both sides of the coin on this. OK, clearly, my man's if he is saying, excuse me, ma'am. And he sees that you have breast disease and you don't have a mustachio and uh, he don't see that you got a piece in the pocket. He's he's going to say, ma'am. I mean, look what happened with old gay boy here. This guy thought I was another gay dude. He thought I was a sir. Okay, <laughs> And then realized when when I did not have any trouble, he only saw my five o'clock shadow on the top and then saw the breast disease. He's like, oh. Ma'am, or whatever you are. I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> My point is, just just keep it, just dial it back, guys. Let's just dial the hostility back just a little bit. I don't um, give a I shit. get nervous when I see feminists because I don't know if you're a real feminist because I remember feminists back in the day were cool-ass people who were fighting for feminist rights. Today's feminist, I'm not sure about y'all. <laughs> yeah, 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 Some of you yeah, are men's, like my man yeah. Prince Prince Aries said he's a a, a male feminist. <laughs> you stupid little bitch. Oh Jesus God. My man's went from wearing Nazi memorabilia at one Halloween party to a male feminist. I mean, come on. <laughs> you stupid little bitch. Holy shit, this is fucking wild. Um yeah, I'm just hoping that we can have more conversations. Uh, you, y'all, are free to hit me up whenever. Obviously, I shout out my show, my socials in the beginning of the show. But 
You know, I just want people to have a little bit more conversations, respect people's position. Hey, lady, I respect that you are non-binary, but also respect that my man does not know you. So he doesn't not he doesn't know what to call you. OK, he's just a, a, a store worker trying to pay his bills and put some shit on the shelf. That's it. The same fucking World War Three. And speaking of World War Three, uh, holy shit. Homegirl and Haish had not one, but two fucking car accidents the other day. Crashed into an apartment complex. Somehow survived that. Backed up the Mini Cooper and then drove a couple blocks down and crashed into somebody's house going so fast that she crashed through the whole fucking house. And then her shit caught on fire. So uh, it took, they, they said, I don't want to believe the fucking internet, but they said it took 50 firefighters to put out this house fire and save Anne, don't who has burns huh? and is apparently in the ICU. My God, who knew that a fucking Mini Cooper <laughs> could do so much damage? <laughs> Holy shit. Um, damn. Sorry for the lady's house who is just fucking burnt out and, and is just gone. And then, of course, Anne. We don't know what the fuck's going to happen with Anne. Hopefully she makes it and pulls through. But Jesus Christ, there's some rumors going around that she may or may not have been drinking because there was some allegedly some vodka bottle and the pictures on TMZ. I don't fucking know, but I just, you, you got to understand to be in that kind of state of mind driving like that, something is clearly wrong. Okay. I don't know if old girl was having a panic attack, um, but if she was, you know, you need to pull over folks. We can't be driving. 90 miles an hour into people's houses. Okay. But, uh, uh, speedy recovery for Anne. Hopefully it's not drug or alcohol related because I know she's sober now, but if she were to re- relapse and this thing falls back on that, you know, it's not going to look good. She, she can go jail. Okay. Um, but hopefully not. Uh, and finally, our beloved queen, Olivia Newton, John has passed away from Le Bresse cancer. And, uh, I am just, saddened i mean a sweet little angel like that this this straight dime piece this ola mommy sandra d tell me about it stud (laughs) why you know we got people sucker punching people little asian grandmas and you took sandra d from us come on god come on who is going to take me to Xanadu? Xanadu in Xanadu. Fuck, man. Oh, I'm going to. You have to believe we are magic. Oh, she's such a. Oh, oh my God. You can't spit away. You die to go. You can't spit away. And now you know When a little more love Make you stop pretending When a little more love And your happy ending When a little more love Make it right When a little more love Make it right It gets me nowhere Now you go Oh fuck man I'm gonna start crying Oh shit Fuck I loved Olivia Let's get physical, physical, high and physical. Let me hear your body talk. Oh, damn it, man. What a sweet, 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 steamy dime piece. The world is never going to be the same without Olivia. And man, this chick is a tough ass broad because she's like, You better shape up, cause I'm me, man. And my heart is set on you. You better shape up. You better understand. And my heart is just be true. You don't love me too. You don't want to love me. You don't want to love me. Man, this lady is such a tough old broad. She fucking fought breast cancer off. I think she got diagnosed in 2017. So it's been like five years of her like. Yeah, Suck a butt, breast yeah, cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body shot, breast cancer. Punch you the kidneys, breast cancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And then breast cancer finally with the fucking Ongbok elbow to the top, to the fucking dome. 
Olivia. Fuck, man. I'm going to miss her so much. My sweet Olivia. Before I go, I must give you some UFC picks. My gosh, last week. Let me see how well we did on the picks. I'll tell you how well we did on the picks. We fucking smashed it, okay? I, I hit my my two lady bets, and that's all the bets I did for the night. I should have fucking parlayed them shits. I would have made some big time paper. But in the meantime, I'd like to get you some more paper if I could, please. Do you mind? Can I give you some picks? Is that okay? Is that all right with you? With a little more love, make it right. With a little more love, make it right. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to go listen to Olivia after this podcast is over. Um, Here are my UFC picks. Biased as fuck, as always. UFC Fight Night San Diego at Pechanga. At Pechanga. I was like, ooh, maybe I should go. And I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I've I've paid my dues. I've been to plenty UFC events. They are shit. (laughs) They are terrible, man. Actually, pay-per-views aren't bad. But it's the it's the TV one. It's it's like the fight nights, the tough, um, with the commercials. Oh, fucking painful because they they have to stay on time with the live commercials. So you sit through the fucking commercials like you're at home. So you're like, oh, I should have just stayed home. Fuck this. So uh, never again. <laughs> if I go to a UFC event, it will be a pay per view. That way, if uh, somebody loses or wins, that they just. You know, they just keep it moving right along. So I like that because I got to get to bed. You know what I'm saying? I was an old ass lady. Um, So without further ado, my picks are Jason Witt, Priscilla Cattarella. This one is a stretch. Both of these guys suck donkey dicks. Uh, I just picked Yusef Zalal because he's lost his last three fights in a row. He has not won a fight since 2020. And he desperately needs a dub. So I feel like the Moroccan devil is going to come out swinging and fucking die on his sword. <laughs> uh, so pick at your own risk. Um, Yusef Zalal. Next, me Jamaican brethren, O'Day Osborne. Booyaka, booyaka. Iron. Hear me now, rude boy. What one? Everything be iron. Big up to you, Tim. Way up to Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chetanana. I'm picking Ode Osborne. Um, Gabriel Benitez. That's a stretch as well. He's kind of sus, sus, sus as well. Lucas Brezki. I only picked him because he had two more abs than the last guy he is fighting. <laughs> Uh, this is painful because I love, I love Angela Hill. She's fighting in her hometown, fucking San Diego. But Lupi, Lupita. Godinez is is a fucking killer from Mexico City or no Guadalajara. Um, I think Lupi takes this fight. I'm sorry, Angie. I love you so much. I don't want you to hear me say this, but I'm taking Lupi. Um, but I secretly wish Angie would win. Come on, prove me wrong, please. God, this girl cannot get a fight to go her way. It's just so disappointing. Angie's got the skill and the talent and the heart. And she really hasn't been doing this for this long. What's shocking is it's been like four or five years in the UFC from zero training. Her first training. She was just sprung into the ultimate fighter with like a week of kickboxing, guys. I mean... It's been a long process for Angie, and she keeps getting better with each fight except for her cardio. She just starts to fade. So, Loopy is a wrestler, and uh, Angie's kryptonite is wrestling. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sweetie. I love you, but um, Loopy is just going to take you down and maul you to death. Um, um, hopefully, Angie Lil Hill will prove me wrong. Uh, next, Bruno Silva. Nina Nunez, hello Nina, that is Amanda Nunez's steamy wife, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, this one was a tough one, but I went with Amzat Mrakhanov. Uh, Yasmin Yuragi, hello, hola mami, mucho gusto. Uh, this was also a toss up of shittiness, David Oyama, I, I took him. Um, and finally, this is painful for me to pick, but I just weren't in his hometown. I cannot 
well, it's not his hometown, but it's, it's his hometown. It's his second home from away from home, originally from Phoenix, Arizona. My, my boy, Dominic Cruz, um, I've got to pick him for this fight. I, I just feel like time is um, running out in the uh, hourglass of Dominic Cruz. Cheeto Vera is no fucking joke. This is going to be a tough, tough match for Dom. I am hoping Cheeto will lose, but he's the fresher fighter. He's the more active fighter. Dom hasn't hasn't fought in, I believe it's been a year, maybe even two years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that footwork is still there. The movement is there, but Cheeto just has so much power, so I'm very nervous for Dom. But I'm taking Dominic Cruz to win. Fuck this. But if Cheeto wins, I'm happy for him too as well because Cheeto... Uh, Vera, he deserves this. He's been working fucking hard, and this would be a passing of the torch for him. So um, I'm hoping both guys win. I know that can't be possible, but I'm leaning towards Dom. But um, that is going to be my pick. Dominic Cruz, we ride till the end. You're my pick. You're my guy. And uh, Cheeto, I'll pick you next fight. That is going to do it for me, folks. I've got to turn this thing off. It is business hours in London. Um, But before I go, by the time you hear this, it might be too late. But if it's not too late, put some money in Bed Bath & Beyond stock. The ticker is BBBY. It is fucking mooning right now. It has gone up 120% from Friday to Monday. Please, for the love of God. If you hear this, the sound of my voice, go open your phone, check the stock, and see if BBBY has not mooned yet. Put some money in there. We're projecting the the uh, the redditors, the the scouts, the the degenerate gamblers are saying anywhere between twenty dollars and as high as eighty dollars. Now listen, I ain't waiting for no eighty dollars. I need to get my money and I need to get it quick. So uh, we will see. I will start getting nervous around twenty to uh thirty dollars right now at the sound of this recording it is ended the day at eleven dollars and twenty six cents if i'm not mistaken so there is still time so i'm gonna try and edit this as fast as possible so you can get in on and make it some fucking paper amc stonk is mooning it is not too late to jump on that as well i feel like that is projected to hit maybe 35 or 40 and right now it's at 23 so jump the fuck in gamestop is affordable uh it is mooning right now there still might be time it's in the low 40s the max is 63 so do yourself a favor you still have time to make potentially almost uh at least one and a half times your money if not double so jump in if you can folks all right that's gonna do it for me uh thank you so much for tuning in uh like share and subscribe do all of that junk tell your friends you love fucking ramble radio tell your friends you hate ramble radio i don't give a fuck i appreciate every single one of you who love the show who hate the show who talk about the show who don't talk about the show um it has just been a wild ride a spectacular journey and i am love i am here till the end and i'm staying uh till the wheels fucking fall off till i cannot talk about anything anymore okay i will be here in this chair but until next time this is Rambo Radio. I'm out. Peace. You have mental problems. You have some, you need attention. You need something.